They treated my husband like an animal, and I think that they give animals more respect than they give humans. And I think that they need to do something about that ASAP because we're losing our family members and they're not losing anything. I lose sleep. I can't sleep at night. I've been married 28 years, hoping, looking for the day that all my kids leave the house and me and my husband can do what we want to do without babysitters. And now I have no one but my children and I'm alone to deal with this for the rest of my life. This settlement that we get, people, we're walking up and down the street, they're saying congratulations. Don't congratulate us. This is not a victory. The victory will come when we get justice. Then we want to have a victory party, even though my son said he couldn't breathe 11 times. 11 times he said he couldn't breathe. And they chose not to indict. Where is the justice? So now we just ask you to please come and stand with this family, stand with Nan, stand with all the supporters as we go through this weekend and we try to commemorate and never forget the name of Eric Gardner. Thank you. A year ago, we vowed to never forget, and a year later, people around the world never forgot. Um, this does not represent justice. We are, calling, we are calling on the Department of Justice and uh, Loretta, 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 Loretta Lynch, Lynch to deliver justice for my father. My father was killed on video, and there has not been any justice or admission of guilt. And a settlement is not justice. Justice is when somebody is held accountable for what they do. If you do a crime, you do the time. That's, that's how it goes, and it's, it's no excuse.